awesome to the max. What's up, Psycho Gamers? My name is Jam99, and welcome to. Welcome back, I mean, welcome back to Sonic Zero Gravity. Um, I left off where at Megalo Station before I, um, said the first cutscene. Right here we play as Tails. Um, the little kid of the whole series. The thing is, I don't, I don't really know Tails' exact, exact um, voice for the game. Like, I mean, exact age in the game. Right now, I start off pretty bad because I hit the, like, electricity over there. But I'll be catching up, like, uh, catching up with everyone. Because I, I actually know this song plays from front to back. So, um, I'm gonna be finding ways how to catch up to a lot of these robots. The main purpose of the game, get the first place or you, like, lose, slash die or some reason, I'm not sure. But I'll be doing more playthroughs of these if you guys want me to. The fuck? Oh, God! Sweet. If you like get that power up, it will actually help you out a lot, in, like in the long run. Right here, I have to um, catch up to a lot of these things. What the fuck? <laughs> what the? How? It's how? That's the first time I encountered that in the game. All right. So far, so good. I am first place again as Tails. Tails Miles Power. Again, I'm a pretty um good Sonic fan. I uh I would actually um Sonic was like one of the first games I ever played ever in my life. It was actually pretty fun when I was a kid. Like I don't know, it was just that Sonic aspect I liked. Um, I know people mostly like Mario, but for me I like Sonic a lot. Because I mostly grew up with him when I was a kid. Um, uh, free kid, me and free kid, like, a, like, have a long history about which one's better, Sonic or Mario. I always said Sonic, he says Mario. Um, but, yeah. Mostly, it's just a, uh, dispute that we always had. But so far, I always think that um, Sonic could win the fight against Mario. Mostly because, um, Sonic has a lot of advantages to him than, um, than Mario does. But I'm just ranting right there. Abusing the R1 button. Oh, this, this is a funny fact. I actually played this game on the Wii and it sucked. The controls on the Wii were horrible. I hated it. Um, it was always so. It was hard for me to match the controls. I played both Sonic games on the Wii. I'm um, Sonic Riders games. I'll be multi gun them for either. If I get the second and if I get the first game for Xbox, that'll be pretty good. I'm playing on my PlayStation 2. Um. Yeah, there was way. I there was such pretty hard for me to find a way how to. Fuck me! God damn it! I I just messed up right there. With tails, it's pretty hard to control flight. Um, because there's a possibility where you could fall at the wrong location at the wrong time. You have to keep you have to keep moving when it comes to, when it comes to him. Alright, we're three minutes into the video. Nothing that bad. Pretty awesome how I um, started this game. Zero gravity, bitch. Tails is stronger than anyone else in the world. Even though a lot of people bash on Tails. But I think mostly people bash on Silver because he came out where the he came out in the worst possible game. And we came in first place. Sweet. So I guess my best time was with the first lap, holy shit. It was mostly the second one I get the best time. Alright, let's continue. Uh, back of Kingdom. Ugh, God, I'm just stretching. Sorry, guys. I'll be quiet for this cutscene.
looks like we need to watch our step. Oh my god, Jet! And the other Babylon rogues. What? I like this um, voice actor for Jet per more personally. It's been a while. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Jet? Jet the Hawk. Long time no see, We're here to settle the score from last time. <clears throat> Any time, Babylon Rose. Put it out, Storm. All right, Kirby. Hand over the Ark of the Cosmos. <laughs> well, technically Sonic is. Robots! Six minutes, six minutes into the video, pretty good. I could be, I could get done to um to missions in the game. Okay, just gonna get myself in a comfortable place. Let's first start. Meteor tech premises. Hell yes. Playing as Knuckles the um, Echidna. Ah, oh, come on, damn it. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. God damn it. It's kind of hard to control Knuckles, depending on, like, the power speed and a lot of stuff. Give up a little trick right there. Going into my gear change phase. Later, bitch. <laughs> Just to get those shits away from me. Ooh, a gear change. As you see here in Knuckles, um, gear change is basically a bike. Because mostly it's power and all that stuff. Um, I can't really explain that much. I haven't played the first game to really realize that much about this. I played the first game on Wii and I played this one on Wii as well. I still have the case for these games, but I don't have an HD TV, uh, PVR for this. For me, in order for me to make a playthrough about Sonic Zero Gravity. Or Sonic Riders. Or any Wii game in general. Ah, my neck! Ah, god. Sorry guys. Just not doing some stuff right now. Alright, as you see here, it says there's a power thing. Well, mostly because um, Knuckles could break through anything in his path. Come on, I fucking get that again. Breaking that. Better get out of my way. Yeah, there's a trick to do that. So there's been a trick to do everything in this game. Um, personally, there's, I, there's like a lot of secret boots that people don't really know about. I might be showing them right now, if I get it at the right time. God damn, I couldn't. Well, I was gonna show where, um, there's a location here where you can go to another, like right there. I'm, I can't really point. I don't know what I'm doing, but... You know what I mean. It's like secret locations throughout this whole game where you can use to find ultimate roots. Most ultimate roots are really, really um, hidden pretty well. Mostly, like, people who play this game a lot more. 
can find it out easily right now. I've been playing this game for like one day. I beat it already. Oh, right there. There was like one right there when, before I did the zero gravity thing. But whatever. Besides the fact, I'll be doing a lot more um, alternate routes thing to, for the game so you guys can know where everything is. Uh, but I might be probably 100% of the game, I'm not sure. Punching robots because I can't. I am MLG like that. Alright, like this one, like one of them up here. Sorry guys. That's really an uncomfortable right now. And I just got first place. And I guess I'm done with this knuckle with this section with knuckles. I guess I can end off here, but this cutscene next after this, so I'll show the cutscene and I'll end the video there. So, I'll stop talking right now so you guys can see the whole cutscene, and I'll see you guys in a minute. You can use that power too? Pretty handy, really. <laughs> Engage EM algorithm. Maximum value. Access mother computer. Mother computer access denied. Why? Hmm? What's this racket? And now of all times! Huh? What went flying just now? <laughs> Do I look like a ball to you? Eggman, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I own this company! Ha 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 ha! What? So you're the ringleader behind this one too, Eggman? Ringleader? What the devil are you babbling about? Come on, cut the act. I'm talking about the Global Robot Rampage. You must be joking. That's been quite a headache for me as well. Like we'll believe anything you say. Calm down. We go way back, don't we? I'll let you in on something. Not even I know why they've gone amok. But they appear to be following a leader. A leader? Well, I guess for now we'll buy that Eggman isn't involved. Hmm. So maybe that has nothing to do with the robots that attacked us. Where did you get that? So you were holding out on us, Eggman. Spill everything you know, now! Very well, I'll tell you. All robot activity within my facility is normally controlled by the mother computer. As the core of the Meteotech network, it was supposed to be the perfect computer. But as of a few days ago, I've been unable to control it remotely. The power unit within the mother computer is a stone identical to the one you're holding. According to my analysis, that stone can convert huge amounts of mass energy into other forms of energy and exudes a unique magnetic field. Huh? Shut up and listen! In any case, it appears that somehow the robot's leader also contains a stone with similar powers to the one in the mother computer. What? My deductions are correct. The robot's leader is using the world's robots in an attempt to collect these strange stones from around the globe. But why do they need the stones? That even I don't know. They're drawn to one another. What? These aren't just some rocks. They're spoken of in Babylon clan legend as... Ah! That's right! Girl! Give me back the Ark of the Cosmos! Amy's gone! Storm's not here either! Sounds like we've got a fix on the robot leader's location. Satellite monitor on!